pretty expensive piece of equipment you've left lying there. Probably don't want to get that to get into somebody else's hands either. But what do you care? You're not Batman anymore. for GCN reporting live outside Wayne Manor following the dramatic unmasking of billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne. saw Bruce Wayne, now known to be the masked vigilante Batman, enter his home, refusing to come. Oh no. This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. So I guess we're to believe that Bruce Wayne died in the explosion. Or at least I'm imagining that's what he wants the people of Gotham to believe. So what? Somebody can come back later as Batman, he can come back later as Batman, and everybody's gonna be like, Well, that can't be Bruce Wayne, because Bruce Wayne died in the explosion at the Wayne Manor. Who is this Batman? Um, my understanding is that there are multiple endings to the game. There's that ending. Uh, there's another ending um, for when you complete all of the Most Wanted missions. And I don't know what the other the other ending is, and I don't know what happened to the other endings either. I just heard that there were other endings. Um, so yeah, there's this this that ending, ending for completing all the most wanted missions, and I think an ending for completing most of them, or some, you know, somewhere between seven and all of them. I don't know. Um, uh, overall, um, I hate to say this, but I really didn't like the game very much. I did not care for the Batmobile sequences. They were tedious, uh, and there were just way too many of them. Uh, I did not enjoy that part of the game at all. Uh, fighting all of those tank drones, um, that was tedious. Chasing after APCs or Firefly, or racing in Riddler's courses, I did not find fun at all. I didn't find that the Batmobile maneuvered very well. So it was not it was not fun or enjoyable to drive, and that was a really big part of the game, and it left me not liking the game. Another thing I didn't like about the game, uh, something that happened just in this play session, was there were too many cases where we'd have a a, a, a quest or whatever, but it wouldn't tell us how to get there. So basically, you just found yourself, you know looking around the city for those for those cases and I finally f I don't know if I say figured it out but uh, came up with a way to deal with it which was just going through the main quest and you would come across those other cases as you moved around the city I didn't really like that uh, game mechanic it was tedious um, but there were uh, quite a few things I did like about the game um, probably my favorite thing was how they were able to incorporate the Joker into this game even though he died at the end of the last game. 
least it's my understanding. I mean, I never played the last game, but um, at the beginning of this game, Batman presses the button and incinerates him, so he's dead. And I thought that the the Joker blood in Batman was a pretty cool way of keeping the Joker character alive in the game, even though he wasn't actually alive. Uh, I like that. That was pretty cool. There was there were some really good surprises in the game. Um, the one where you first see the Joker is the best one. Um, so I liked that a lot. Uh, I liked the city itself. I thought the city was really cool and well done. Um, it, it was neat flying above it and um, just exploring it. So I did like that. Um, some of the, uh, the, uh, the missions were fun. Um, I, I kind of like the ones where you were doing puzzle solving. Uh, either with the Batmobile or, um, you know, walking through um, air ducts and using your Batarang to hit buttons and stuff like that. That was fun. Um, you know, parts of the story were pretty cool. I liked uh, when we had to go to the Stag airships uh, to find information about the uh, cloud bursts. That was pretty neat. Um, yeah, I mean, there were, there were there were a lot of good good things about the game, but unfortunately for me at least, the uh, the driving sections just pretty much uh, ruined it for me. And, and then then there's just the, the fighting in general. I, I did not enjoy the fighting. It was just a bunch of... I hate to say button mashing, but that's what it felt like. Just pressing buttons as fast as you could. And um, I mean, of course you had to press the right buttons at the right moment, but even then I didn't feel like the game was responsive enough to the buttons I pressed. Um, for example, uh, towards the end of the game, when we had the last test for Azrael, um, I didn't show it in my episode, but it took me 20 solid minutes to make it past that one fight. And I felt like a big part of the problem that made it more difficult was it wouldn't register my button presses. Um, I mean, I felt like I knew what I needed to do you know, when the blue squiggly lines are over top of the guys, you press the Y button to uh, counter, and when uh, the yellow is over top of them and they're swinging their knife at you, you have to hold down the Y button and pull back on the, on the control stick. And uh, I never did figure out how to reliably dodge the guys with the red squiggly lines over top of them. But um, anyway, in that 20 minutes when I was fighting, there were many times where I felt like I did the right thing, but one of the enemies would hit me anyway, resetting the, the, the um, test. Um, so yeah, I thought that the uh, fighting was a little, it could have been a little tighter, I think. Um, I thought the graphics were quite good. I liked the graphics. I, I played on PC and I thought the game looked good except for the uh, low res texture issues, which I'm sure you saw as we played through the game. Um, you'd come up on, like, for example, one of the firefighters in his uh, uniform would be super low res, and uh, it would take a few seconds for it to kick into high res. That was kind of a strange issue. But uh, as far as issues overall, I didn't really have too many of them uh, in my PC version of the game. I thought the game played fine. I got a pretty good frame rate for the most part. Um, and I, I don't have, you know... Uh, a top-of-the-line system. I mean, at least not anymore. It was when I built it nearly two years ago. Well, I guess it's been two years now. And um, it worked fine for me. Who the heck is that guy? Uh, so, yeah, I don't know why so many people are having problems with it, but um, it worked pretty well for me, thank goodness. But anyway, that was uh, Batman Arkham Knight. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Um... I hope my frustrations with the game didn't uh, ruin the experience too much. But uh, yeah, there were a lot of a lot of parts in the game I got frustrated on. But uh, there were a lot of parts that I thought were very cool too. So um, I guess I'm glad I played it. Because uh, if I hadn't played it, I would have wondered if it was any good. Because a lot of people have said it's really good. There's some people who say it's game of the year. I don't see that at all. But uh, yeah, with just you know people saying it was such a cool game. Um, I'm glad I played it because otherwise I would have always wondered. So I don't have any plans on uh, playing it again. I don't have any plans on going back in and uh, completing all of the uh, Riddler trophies. Um, 
so yeah, I'm pretty much done with it. Who are all these other people? What are these... I don't know who these other people are, these um, scenes that were being shown here. Who's that guy? Was he in this game? Who the hell is that? I don't know, he looks pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe he's one of the guys... I don't know who that guy is. He looks like somebody from Mortal Kombat. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Uh, who the hell is that? Where, where are these drawings from? Where, uh, these must be from the other games too, I guess. Because he was a beast in the first game. Um, so I guess that's what this is. These are just graphics from all three of the games. I played the first game and finished it. Never played the second game and then I just played the third game. So, so anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. And um, let me know what you thought of the playthrough. Let me know if uh, you watched every episode. I'd like to hear from you. I always like to hear from people who watch the whole thing. Um, <laughs> I, I always really appreciate it when people take the time to watch my uh, playthroughs. So um, if you made it all the way through, let me know. I'd like to, I'd like to know. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and shut up now and just uh, let these credits play the rest of the way out. And we'll see if there's any extra cutscene after the credits like there often is in games. Um, and if there, if there is, we'll watch that. And if there's not, then that will be the end of this episode and the end of this playthrough. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you'll join me again in another Let's Play.